so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be solving problem c that is save the magazines from at around 137 uh, and the problem was not that hard in itself uh, the main point of focus in such problems should be uh, on how to approach them and how to solve them as fast as possible right because a pupil also solves the same problem in around 30 to 40 minutes and a red coder solves the same problem in around 5 to 10 minutes right uh, so our main focus in this video will be how we can approach this kind of problem and try to solve it as fast as possible right because uh, to gain a higher rating it is not only sufficient to solve the hard problems but you also need to solve the easier problems as fast as possible so that will be our goal uh, in this video uh, and with that out of the way let's start with the solution before we move on to the solution, uh, I want to take a small break and tell you guys about Newton School's Premier Coding Contest. So as all of you guys love CP and all of you, all of you guys love to code, this is a great opportunity to show off your coding skills and also win some cash prizes. There are prizes worth rupees 30,000 and along with this you can also win some free coding courses or also grab some internship opportunities. Right, so uh, for this reason only Newton School organizes this contest every month on a global scale. So you can also benchmark yourself where you are lacking or where you are standing uh, compared to other students. So this month it will be on 27th October. It will be around two and a half hours starting from 9 p.m. And it is absolutely free to uh, sign up for. So there will, be, there will be a link down below. So do check out that link and sign up for the contest for absolutely free. Yeah. So let's move on to the solution now. In the problem, uh, we have been given n number of boxes. Uh, where n is up to 10 to the power 5 uh, let's say boxes are a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so on up to an uh, right uh, and where ai represents the number of magazines that are in box i so we have been given n boxes and we have been given the number of magazines in each box now some of these boxes are covered let's say your a2 is covered let's say your a5 is covered let's say your an is covered uh, you have been given some rules according to which you can move these covers you can move a cover from box ai to ai minus one and secondly you cannot move a cover more than once you cannot move one cover more than once Right, so what that means is, uh, if we have let's say three elements, a i minus one, a i minus, sorry, a i minus one, a i and a i plus one. Let's say your cover is on element a i plus one. If you move it to a i, uh, now we have cover on element a i. Right, but as you have already moved a cover from a i plus one to a i. You cannot move this cover from ai to ai minus one now right because this cover had this cover has already been moved so that is what we mean by the second rule so if you already move a cover you cannot move it again so given these two rules you want to move the cover such that in the end you have the maximum number of maximum number of magazines are covered so that is the entire problem so you have been given n boxes uh, some of these boxes are covered you want to move these covers such that in the end uh, the number of magazines that are covered are maximized uh, so how can we solve this as in the problem uh, you have been asked to maximize something the very famous approaches that you can think about are binary search or greedy or maybe d right so i will try to explain my thought process how i narrowed down my search space as this is a div 2c and dp is too hard for a div 2c so that's why i ruled out dp secondly i tried binary search but i was not able to come up with a relation that will help me solve binary search so that's why i ruled out binary search so the only candidate that was left was greedy so then i try to think how can i solve this in a greedy manner uh, so i will give you guys some kind of tips uh, for such problems so in general if you approach such a problem in which you have been given some kind of operation so if you have been given some kind of operations the problem setter generally over complicates the operations right because if it gives you the operation in a straightforward manner you will be easily able to solve the problem so he takes the simple operation and he and he over complicates it 
as in the problem we have been given that we can move the cover from ai to ai minus one and we cannot move a cover more than once right so these are the operation that we have been given but these are in a complicated manner so we will try to do a dry run of this we will try to take some samples and try to do a dry run and then try to rephrase the operations rephrase the operations so we will do a dry run try to observe some kind of pattern and using that pattern we will try to rephrase the operations and these rephrased operation will help us solve the problem we can either apply greedy or binary search after we rephrase the operation we can try to see which approach will help us to give the solution so the very first step is to take the complicated operations try to do a dry run try to observe the pattern and try to rephrase the operations so that's what we will do so now let's try to take a sample and try to do a dry run on that uh, so let's say we have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 and a8 let's say we have an array of eight elements and let's say the covers are on a4 a5 a6 and a7 so the first option that i can do is uh, move the cover from a4 to a3 so in that case my new array will be a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 so in this case my new array will be i will have covered on a3 and a5 a6 and a7 uh, the second thing that i can do is move from a4 to a3 and a5 to a4 so in this case my new array will be a4 a5 a6 a7 and a8 so i will cover on a3 a4 and a6 a7 the thirdly i can do a4 to a3 a5 to a4 and a6 to a5 so in this case my array will be uh, what it will be a3 a4 a5 and a7 and lastly i, I can move all the covers and in that case i will have all the covers on a3 a4 a5 a6 so that is all the outputs that we can have right so now let's try to observe the pattern or see how we can rephrase the operations so if you try to look at this uh, if i try to see these four elements as a contiguous segment of covers right because all the elements from a4 to a7 have covers right so i can see this as a segment of contiguous covers let's call the segment s so basically what i am doing is i am trying to break this segment up i will try to break this segment s into two new segments so i will take this segment s and try to break it into two new two new segments s into s1 and s2 for example if you see the first case right here i have two segments i have a3 this is my segment s1 and i have a5 a6 a7 and this is my second segment similarly for second case i have my this segment s1 and i have my second segment s2 in this case i have my this segment s1 and this segment s2 and in last case this is my segment s1 and my second segment s2 is empty right my segment s2 is empty so these are the four cases uh, so i will take a segment s of contiguous covers and i will break it into two segments so that is how we can rephrase the operations so how will this help us solve the problem so if you see this so if i try to uh, help you guys see how we can solve this using the new operation i have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 i have this segment as from a4 to a7 so let's say i try to uh, break this segment here right let's say all the elements after this will belong to s2 and all the elements uh, uh, before this will belong to s1 so in this case i will shift all the elements in s1 to the left so i will have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 so this is a3 this is a5 a6 a7 so this is my segment s1 and this is my segment s2 so i decided to break this element uh, break this segment at index 4 so let's say sum of magazines previously if i uh, uh, find magazines previously it was a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 
let's call this is equal to x so the number of magazines that were covered previously without applying any operation were equal to x right now i have removed a4 and i have added a3 so the new number of magazines will be how much it will be new magazines you can say will be how much it will be equal to x plus removing uh, adding a3 so x plus a3 and we have removed a4 so i can say minus a4 so you can say x plus a4 min uh, sorry a3 minus a4 right so that will be the number of new magazines that will be added if i decide to break at a4 similarly if i try to redraw this again i have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 and a8 if i decide to divide this at index 5 i have two covers here and i have cover on a6 a7 so these two will move to the left and i will get what i will get a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 6 a7 a8 now my covers are on a3 a4 and a6 a7 now i have added a3 and i have removed a5 so new magazines in this case will be how much it will be equal to x plus a3 minus a5 right so that is how we can find the number of new magazines so now if you have to find the optimal breaking point uh, for a segment um, let's say I will redraw the example again. So I have this segment A4, A5, A6, A7. So if I have this segment S and I have to find the optimal pair, uh, sorry, I, I have to find the optimal point where I can break this, right? So for this, I can just iterate over all the elements uh, in the segment. I know if I remove the, if I break this at A4, the number of new magazines will be how much? It will be X plus A3 minus A4. Similarly, if I break this at A5, it will be X plus a3 minus a5 similarly i can do the same thing for all the elements and then i will choose the element that will give me the maximum number of new magazines so then i will just choose the maximum among all the elements x plus a3 minus a4 x plus a3 minus a5 x plus a3 minus a6 and x plus a3 minus a7 this is for one segment, right? And then there will be many other segments in the entire array. You can do the same thing for every segment independently. And as you can see here, this X is a constant. So we can just ignore this X and we can just look for the number of new added magazines, right? So we can just take this X out and we can say maximum of A3 minus A4, A3 minus A5, a3 minus a6 a3 minus a7 we can also take this a3 common out as well that will also work right so that is how rephrasing the operations helps us to solve the problem so first we had the operation in which we have to move the cover then we did a dry run and we rephrase the operations in which you can take a segment and break the segment into two new segments then that operation helped us to solve the problem so now let's move uh, let's move on to the summary or the entire solution so the, the entire solution is something like this uh, we can break the array into contiguous segments of covers let's say the segments are s1 s2 s3 so on up to like uh, let's say s of x right then for every segment find its optimal breaking point which can be found found using the following relation so we can just find uh, if your segment is something like this let's say this is your segment and this is let's say a of i and if you decide to break the segment at uh, some index j then the number of new magazines will be how much it will be x plus a i minus a j you can use this number of magazines to find the optimal breaking point right so for every segment find the optimal breaking point and then in the end find the number of magazines right then in the end count the number of magazines
rest is just implementation and i i hope you guys can take care of that so if you guys want to see the code for this uh, let's move on to the code mm, so here's the code for this so i will have my uh, number of boxes then i will have my string s it will tell me which of the strings are covered or not uh, and i will append two zeros uh, in the starting and in the end so i am basically adding two empty boxes in the starting and in the beginning it will help me to re reduce the number of base cases or corner cases that i will have to take care in my implementation right so that's why i have added uh, one zero in the end and one zero in the starting uh, so I will then uh, take in uh, the number of magazines in each box. This is my array V that will store that. Uh, then for uh, then I will iterate over all the segments. If I see that my S of I is equal to zero, that is if I encounter a box that is uncovered, that means that I have covered all the boxes that were in the previous segment. So I can say improve dot pushback current improvement. So this is my improvement. So if I see here. Uh, my a3 minus a4, a3 minus a5, a3 minus a6. I am calling these things improvements. So I will go over a segment and uh, find the maximum improvement, right? So whenever whenever I see s of i is equal to zero, that means I have covered all the ones or or the, the segment that was behind this. So I will just push the current improvement into my improve array, and I will set my current improvement is equal to zero. Then I will set my position of uh, position equal to i, right? Because if I need to find answer for a segment i or i also need the position of the box that was uncovered right my a of i is uncovered here right so i also need the index for this box right so that's why i'm using pause equal to i this will store the index of the uncovered box and if my s of i is equal to 1 then my current improvement is equal to maximum of current improvement uh, uh, maximum of v pause minus vi this is just this relation right so this is this relation this is the current improvement And whenever I see s of i equal to zero, I will add this improvement to my answer. In the end, uh, I will iterate over the covered elements and I will add them, and then I will add all the improvements, and that will be my entire answer. So, if you guys have a doubt or you guys feel like you are missing something, feel free to jump into Discord server. Uh, I am more than happy to answer your doubts there, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.